Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals Inc. If this is your first time, please click that bell, get notifications when we post up new content. It's a beautiful day. We have a lot going on. There are hawks flying around and breeding everywhere. <laughs> I'm watching hawks breed, sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've been working really hard on the website, uh, new year, new looks, new updates. So I'm um, working on the website. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. Amazinganimalsinc.org. Um, I'm really proud of what we've done, uh, working, stepping up our SEO game. Kylie's been working on some fun things too. Yeah, yeah. I've got a really exciting new project I've been spending a lot of time on as well that we're going to tell you guys about this blog. Uh, the website is looking great. Brian's doing a good job with that. Uh, we got some baby Lima updates. Ooh, He's baby just Lima. growing like crazy. He's over yeah. five pounds. Adorable. Uh, and then just, you know, getting ready for everything in 2021. Yeah. So here we go. So every morning I take a lap around, um, two or three laps and uh, check on everybody, see how everyone's doing, check on all my exhibits, check on my plants, check on my animals. Um, and uh, I figured I would take you with me and uh, kind of see what we got and um, kind of what we do every morning. So the parrots have been busy on my new perches. Um, they did well, they lasted about a month, but they're already starting to destroy them. I can show you, um, this perch right here is gonna be the next to go. You can see all the light spots as all pieces of wood all chewed up. And then um, they totally broke one in half. That ends, it was connected to that one over there that's falling down. So they've uh, destroyed my perches already. So, um, you know, they did last a month, but all these people that say they want to get these birds as pets, um, all they do is chew, 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 destroy, destroy, destroy. So uh, do your research, do your research. But now I got to go get some more pieces of wood and put up a new perch for them. This guy's guy's coming to say hi. Hello. Hello. Are you doing it? Have you destroyed the wood? Or did you destroy the wood? Was it you? Or was it you? Leela, Leela, who did this? Who did that? Did you do that? It used to be connected. <laughs> so Beetle is like on alert right now. He sees the other two hawks. They um, are nesting in the backyard. It's really cool to uh, be out here with all the woods and in nature. And all of our animals that uh, communicate with, with these wild animals. Um, Archie has a girlfriend, Owl, that comes over every night and she's out here and she hangs, and she hangs out. She sits on top of his cage, it's like Romeo and Juliet. And uh, the other, the hawks that live out here um, are a pair. So I don't think they like Beetle. And um, they're always like, get out of here, you're in our territory. And Beetle's like, I can't go nowhere, I gotta be here. He's like, where are they at? This is how we feed the emu. So. The goats and the pigs and the donkey can't steal her food because she takes a while to eat. She has a hole right here filled with food. She can put her neck through and eat. And um, those crazy thieves can't steal it. It works. So I'm doing my morning checks. Every morning I walk around. I check out the exhibits, check out my plants because Things like that fall overnight, so I gotta clip that and fix it. And I love it, all the animals come over and they say hi to you. So the capybaras are like, where's our food? And the lemurs, always very vocal, very vocal, Babs. You being vocal? Hi, boop. She's crazy. Um, but yeah, I just kinda do my checks, check on everything, check on everyone, see how everything's going. Uh, and Kylie, I think, is feeding. She, uh, oh, here's her cart. I don't see her. The Joffrey cats, they're like, Mom's here. Breakfast. Breakfast. Cart of food. Oh, there's Kylie. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Working hard? Working as usual. 
<laughs> got a busy day today. Yeah, we got three tours booked, so. All right, so I have some really exciting news that I've been working really hard on. I am creating World Joffrey Cat Day. So the first ever World Joffrey Cat Day is gonna be celebrated on January 28th, so just a few weeks away. And you know, I think it was when we were filming a YouTube video a few months ago, there was all these animal uh, days coming up and I said, you know, there's no Joffrey Cat Day. So I decided to go ahead and make one. So we're really, really excited. Uh, there's a website that we've created. It's www.joffreycats.com and it's got some good information we really want to just teach more people about these cats they're really not very known uh, they are one of the smaller cat species in South America one of the most widespread cat species in South America as well um, but they are facing a lot of human conflicts so it's been really fun I've been connecting with some people in South America uh, we've already uh, been working with Felipe Peters who is a researcher who has been studying them he works with Wildcat Brazil and uh, actually it's been really cool because it's kind of funny how everything comes together reaching out to some other organizations and places they just started a Joffrey Cat working group as well. So we're partnering with them and they're going to be doing some conservation work in Brazil and throughout South America uh, because a lot of the threats that Joffreys are facing are a lot of human conflicts like conflicts with farmers. So mitigating those threats is going to be really, really important to help protecting them uh, in the future. So they're going to be going to the farmers and teaching them and building them new chicken coops and showing them how to coexist better with the cats. Uh, so hopefully they don't see the cats as such a threat. Uh, so we're really, really excited. We're going to have a t-shirt fundraiser going on all of January that's going to be uh, raising money to support those conservation efforts. Um, so a lot of really fun things happening. Check out Joffrey Cats on Instagram and social media. Um, Facebook, we have one. And so we're really excited to be celebrating the Joffrey Cats and we hope you guys join us January 28th. All right, so we are behind the reptile house right now and back here is our quarantine. We have two smaller exhibits set up for when animals first come in. Um, we put them back here away from all of our other animals and they stay in quarantine for about 30 days. And we have a new quarantine resident. So we are done kind of messing with all the animals for the day. So we came back here and we're gonna show you guys who we re recently took in. So we recently took in this very cute, pretty young prairie dog. Um, she was actually found out in nature, she was in the wild, and uh, they said that they saw her mom hit on the side of the road. She's a little big to still be with her mom. So I don't really know if there was a group of prairie dogs, someone let go of a couple and they stuck together. One got hit on the side of the road and people saw this younger one. Um, but she looks to be about three months old and um, super cute, very inquisitive. Um, a little too nice to be a wild prairie dog, so we're trying to get as much information as we can to see um, if she is really wild, where she kind of came from, but she is uh, settling in nicely. We don't know what we're going to do with her yet. We really don't have a good spot for her here at Amazing Animals, but um, we may keep her. We're going to see how she does as an ambassador animal, um, see how she does with us handling her, picking her up, working with her, and um, we're just kind of letting her sit back here. We've had her for almost a week now, letting her settle in, and uh, we'll find out, but we'll keep you updated. I can't believe we are almost to 2021 and little Lima, I just weighed him. He is over five pounds now. He's getting so big and uh, over six months old. He just turned six months the other day, uh, growing like a weed still. He really barely fits on his little teddy bear anymore, his little sloth uh, stuffed animal. He is bigger than uh, the stuffed animal is at this point. Uh, and we are still waiting for the DNA results to determine if he really is a boy or a girl. Uh, the lab wanted mom and dad's hair sample as well. So uh, our vet had to come back and take some hair samples from Lily and Luke to really get a good determination. Uh, again, it can really be hard to tell the sex of sloth. So uh, we're hoping we get a really accurate response by them having Lily and Luke's hair samples. Uh, and we just can't wait for what the new has to bring. Lima is uh, going to be with mom still for another few months, but man, five pounds that she has to carry around now. Lily has been just an amazing mom. We're so happy to have little Lima here and how well he's doing and walking him around the property. And uh, our bobcat Willow is very interested to see what I have in my hands here. Oh, Willow cat. She's behind me checking everything out. Thank you guys for checking us out today. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Like usual, we got a lot of things going on. A lot of little things need to be fixed. On my morning walk, I saw a couple things I got to fix, a couple things I got to do. 
Um, Kylie's finishing up doing animals. Yep. Always something. Always uh, something. Always staying busy. That's for sure. Really, really excited for World Joffrey Cat Day. Um, I'm very then, proud of Kylie. You've worked very hard on that. Thank Good you. Job. Thank you. I, I love them and I love to teach people about them. So we're really excited to bring more awareness and hopefully help out with some conservation aspects in the wild as well. Um, and yeah, we just got, I mean, tours all day. Busy, busy, busy New Year. Yeah. Look out for the t-shirt fundraiser. It should be coming. We're waiting on a link um, and it'll be through our friends at Animals Anonymous Apparel. Yes. And then um, go check out the website. Don't forget to check out the website. We're working hard updating color schemes and just the layout and yeah, content. And I so, like it. Good yeah, job. it's a little easier. <laughs> I had a lot going on before and I've tried to dumb it down a little bit because it's just easier to look at. So thank you guys for all the love and support. We've made it 2021. It's going to be amazing. Um, as always, guys, <laughs> go out there, do, do something, something amazing. amazing.